What's up, fellas? Today, we're gonna to be doing some testing on this waste oil burner that I've been working on. This is my smallest design yet. Over the years of messing around with this stuff, they have continually decreased in size. This here is an air atomizer. And uh, I do have two videos that I'll post a link to in the description that show the design of this thing. This almost burns waste oil without a combustion chamber. It's real close. But uh, the oil has to be very hot, and I do not have a preheat system built just yet. Anyway, the subject of this video is to test interior combustion vaporizers. The purpose of these annular liners is going to be to emanate infrared radiation, which will help vaporize the fuel mixture and expand the gases like we talked about. So I'm going to be testing several of these different designs. Um, this idea was inspired by a YouTuber by the name of Mescal. He was interested to see if any type of catalytic reaction would take place. I personally don't know if that would happen. I'm more interested in the effects of adding thermal energy to the vaporization process. This first test is a control test to examine the features of the flame without any modification. I'm going to run the thing on full power. Okay, fellas, what we just witnessed right there was a burns matic TS-8000 propane torch head. You see this little hole right here? It was spraying gas out at a massive rate. Something has failed inside of this blowtorch, and it uh, pretty much caught my arm on fire. Just to kind of show you. I don't know if you can see the hair singe there. I did not realize gas was spraying out of this thing uh, when I went to light that oil burner. So I don't know what this hole is, if that's some kind of uh, emergency escape valve in, in the event that some liquid propane were to get injected into there and there was a pressure, pressure surge or something. That was weird. I'm going to have to take this thing apart and figure out what happened because that was kind of dangerous. It wouldn't go out either. I had like a three foot blowtorch shooting out the side of the torch there and I couldn't, I just blew it out eventually, but I was kind of confused on why it wasn't going out. And I was afraid to detach the bottle. So quite an interesting situation. So fellas, my propane torch blew up on me. Let's try that again.
fellas. So after that much fuel, that's our residue buildup. I don't know how substantial that's going to be after a while, but see that little shell piece forming. So as far as the catalyst or the um, the vaporizers, they didn't seem to do anything as far as I can tell. Nothing that would merit their installation. I'm going to examine the footage, of course, to determine whether or not we did see an increase in size or a higher velocity flame or anything like that. Um, oddly enough, I have discovered that it didn't dawn on me till this burn. This thing is behaving exactly like a pulse jet. It's operating at a certain frequency. And I would imagine that frequency has something to do with the length of this tube. So, one begs to, to know what's the optimum length of this tube? What's the resonance frequency for this tube? That's kind of an interesting thing here I'm looking at. Because if you've seen the pulsing taking place, it was a very low frequency. Um, I'm left to believe that a higher frequency would give us a longer flame, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe the lower frequency has more oxygen, and that's as good as it gets. If anyone has any input and is familiar with pulse jet engines, and can tell me which is better, high frequency or low frequency. I, I'd have to be high frequency. And this is operating at a fairly low frequency. My ears are ringing. I know that. So we're going to have to look into the possibility of tuning this barrel 